Hello everyone, so for those of you that don't know us, I'm Ollie Collins. And I'm Alicia Bellis. And we are the co-founders of VCC Investments and we're standing in our first new project of 2019. It's one of two big projects that we've got going on. Uh, this is going to be an eight bed HMO when we're done with it. Uh, so I'll let Alicia explain what we're going to do with it and uh, yeah, we'll take you round as well. Do I explain that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is basically we're going to go up into the attic. So it's actually a four bed house at the moment and it's got a downstairs office as well. So that's there's six bedrooms able in the existing house, but obviously to create the two extra bedrooms, we're going to go up into the attic. So if you follow me round, I will show you um, exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so we're currently standing in what is the lounge and it will probably remain as a lounge. And then going back into the room over there, which was the dining room, and as you'll see is also a conservatory. The conservatory will be built into an existing structure. <clears throat> and I'm not quite sure the exact layout, but probably it will be kitchen dining area, a continuation of the kitchen here and the lounge over there, with possibly the ability to close this off so if people want to cook and eat, they can eat, and if they want to socialise and, and relax, they can do that without being disturbed by one or the other. And so that's probably what the layout's going to be like, but obviously we'll see how things sort of pan out, that might change. So come out into the hallway. The hallway is really nice and big. So bearing in mind, we're hoping this will be an eight bed HMO. Actually, we've got a lot of storage here for people to put shoes and coats and all those sorts of things that you need in a hallway for that many people living in one, in one house. So what is currently the kitchen, which has got at the moment a really nice sticky floor, <laughs> um, will become a bedroom with what is currently the utility, will be a bathroom for this, um, bedroom. Now obviously well, the plumbing is here so on the other side of this wall is currently a downstairs toilet which with this being one bathroom this what is currently the toilet will be the off suite for the other bedroom downstairs. So we've got a cupboard which will be knocking around and turning into a shower to add to what is currently the downstairs toilet and basin. So we'll be reconfiguring that to make it a full yeah. en suite. Nice. For this bedroom. So this is, like I said, this is the downstairs office uh, currently, but we will turn it into um, the second bedroom. So, we'll take you upstairs. in the hallway I may as well explain about the attic whilst we're here. So originally we thought that the stairs to go up to the um, third floor could potentially go across um, the current stairs so you just have a continuation sort of thing. Uh, we've had um, someone in to do all the plans for upstairs and actually he's come up with a much better idea. Because we'd have a dormer going to the, towards the back of the property, this which is currently just the line of storage, so he's got the airing cupboard here and then following on there's two uh, wardrobes for these two bedrooms. The stairs is actually going to run up like that so that when you get to the top of the stairs, you're actually at the full height of the dormer and then both um, bedrooms upstairs can come off of that. Whereas as opposed to when we were gonna do it here, it would have come up and created a corridor in the kind of, um, not the eaves, but where the, yeah, where the um, roof slants. So it wouldn't have been that ideal really. So yeah, he's come up with a really good idea here. So, we start clockwise. So this is one of the bedrooms, obviously the stairs is gonna go there, and we're gonna probably keep this wardrobe, so we don't have to have a wardrobe, a freestanding wardrobe, sorry. Um, obviously the bed, and then we're gonna make a ensuite in that corner, so it's gonna be another. <laughs> it's gonna be, I don't know if we've said this already actually, it's gonna be an eight bedroom and eight bathroom property, so every room will have its own bathing facility, facilities. Um, so yeah, in this room, the bathing facility is going to go there. Sorry, the bathroom is going to go there. Bathing facilities. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. The um, ensuite is going to go there. This is... Oh, I said I was going to go clockwise. Sorry, right. this is the other bedroom upstairs, which 
at the moment the other side of this wall is the, the bathroom up here so we're going to knock through here and that bathroom although it's quite big is actually going to be given totally to this room so let's have a nice big on sleep So that's currently the bathroom. You see it's quite big. It's got a big corner bath in there at the moment. Okay, so this is another of the bedrooms upstairs. This one feels a little bit small. Um, originally we were thinking of maybe knocking through there and doing like a two en suites out of that one bathroom, but I think it's probably too small. So what we've actually decided now is like I said to give that whole bathroom to that bedroom and turn and this makes more sense when we go into the other room this and then the other side of this one there's an ensuite which is quite a large ensuite and take all of this space and give some of it as an ensuite to this bedroom and some of it to, for an ensuite to that bedroom so um, although it's a bit of a small room it's gonna again have a full large ensuite and it's quite light as well then through into this room, I mean, it's got a massive wardrobe in here at the moment. So without the wardrobe, actually this room is huge. So we can take, if we need to, we can take some of this room for that ensuite. But like, as you can see here, that space added to the, the wardrobe in the other room is actually quite a large space to create two ensuites. So yeah, it's gonna just be reconfiguring a little bit around up here. Again, with the stairs going up here, we're probably gonna lose quite a bit of this space because if you can imagine the stairs are probably going to come up like this so we can still keep some of this space to give to this room and just be extra storage but it's probably going to need a freestanding wardrobe in here which is fine because as you can see it can already accommodate it um so that's pretty much it um i don't think we're going to do an awful lot to the garden we might tidy it up a little bit but there's not an awful lot there and um, we might also do the, the front um, area to sort of pave a bit more so then more cars can fit there as well. So they're probably going to do that. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've had all the plans drawn up. And so I've sent the um, confirmation back to the builder. So we're waiting for a start date. So that should be pretty soon because um, our builders are pretty quick to, to get working with us. Um, so yeah, we'll show you around the weekly progress. We're really excited for this one because it's probably one of the bigger projects that we've done. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. We'll show you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.